Hi guys, I'm Mariah Faisy and today's video is presented by EA Game Changers. Creator Sim 2.0 <laughs> Right, today we are going to be looking at The Sims Mobile's new update, Client 13. So in Client 13, the Creator Sim section is actually getting a rebrand. It looks awesome, it's white, and it just looks so good. I'm like really impressed with it, and I'm kind of happy with it. So in Creator Sim, there's going to be a shop section where there's going to be like a variety of different brands where you can buy new items. And some of the brands are going to be like Slough Clove, Slulu Lime, I don't know if I said that right, Clementine, Paisley. They sound like all foods. I kind of like this. Another section in the Creator Sim 2.0 is a section called DNA where you obviously write the player's name and choose what they look like and that's been updated so it's easier so you don't have like that diagonally section where you move it up left right down it's literally going to be a scale from left to right of what you want to do how big you want that section to be so if you wanted the belly profile to be like really big you would move it to the right for example and if you wanted it little you'd move it to the left instead of like moving it up and down left to right because that was a bit confusing when first starting so they made that a lot clearer a lot easier you could do that with obviously their eye size their eye slant eye position so you everything is in separate categories rather than in like double categories which was confusing and then you've got the color of their skin in a line which is just so much easier to navigate through. Creator Sim has a new button on the main page. It's going to be in the bottom left hand corner of your main page and it's going to be right next to your travel button and your Sims personality button where they like you go pick to see their hobbies, their stories and who they know. It's going to be right there. So in this update you can actually customize kids, toddlers and any player that is in your household and also which i think is really cool is players around town like you can make everybody look like aliens if you really wanted to like every single player could look like an alien obviously other players kims won't be customizable to you that is down to them what they make their customizable characters look like but you can make anyone look like an alien so another thing that will be added is about 90 new items in creator sim section and about 50 new hairstyles which i'm excited for i hope there is some cool new hairstyles for me to put on my sims that'd be awesome so another thing in this update which i think is really cool is that you can actually now hold off aging up your kids so if you accidentally press that birthday cake button a pop-up will come up saying let's do it or wait a while longer which i'm kind of excited for only because there has been a few times i've accidentally pressed that birthday cake and been like damn it why did i do this so that goes for elders as well they won't automatically just leave and appear in your photo and sit in your generation sections they will actually say goodbye or, or go die but just in a nice way or you can press not right now so you can actually keep them for a long time if you really wanted to i usually want to like make them leave really quickly but it's cool you can make them stay if you really want to if you have attachment issues like i do so one thing that frustrated me beforehand was that you could only have one baby at a time but in this new update apparently you can have multiple babies as long as you have multiple bassinets but i'm kind of excited for that just because sometimes i wanted to Two babies like what if you wanted twins do you know what i mean i've never had a twin in the sims mobile and i know they technically wouldn't be twins if you had one baby after another but they can you could pretend they're twins do you know what i mean you could say they're twins there so another thing that i've read is that apparently you can move out any sim from your household so i'm gonna assume that you can move one of your main characters out because i've tried doing that before and i technically couldn't i had to like remove someone else wait for them to retire and then i could move them out which was slightly annoying so i'm gonna assume you can now move out playable characters 
which is kind of interesting. So another cool thing in this update is that we're going to get another career, which is basically the hairdressing career, but you will need to finish the fashion career to be able to unlock the hairdressing career in the fashion studio. So there'll be three careers that you could possibly have in the fashion studio area which i will be doing a video on because i'm kind of excited for hairdressing a new career because we're gonna have another career we're gonna be having three new heirlooms which is authentically artistic so obviously we're gonna have normal silver and god heirlooms to basically power up that career the hairdressing career which i'm kind of excited for i wonder what it looks like uh, so another thing within this update that is going to be getting a new makeover is going to be the stories page they're going to be a lot, looking a lot cleaner a lot sharper and a lot smoother with bigger pictures and apparently there's going to be a quiz for players which is going to be called discover your brand that helps identify which creator sim 2.0 brand suits your characters best which i'm kind of excited for i don't know what platform it's going to be on if it's going to be on in the sims mobile game or if it's going to be a website where you play and then see what brand suits you and then you could pick the brand and then put it on your sims i don't know how that exactly is going to work so i'm kind of excited to see where that's going to sit and to actually play it i might do a whole video on what brand suits me best and see like then put my sim in that clothes that would be so fun. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. That'd be cool. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button just there. You can also check out my other videos along this side. And I shall see you again next time. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied.